An interstellar visitor is in our skies right now. Not theoretical, not predicted for future decades, here, moving through space beyond Mars. Visible to those who know where to look and have the right equipment. 3i Atlas, the comet from another stellar system that's rewritten expectations repeatedly, that's shown chemistry never observed in solar system objects. That's demonstrated behavior defying standard physics. And for the next several weeks, it's positioned where dedicated observers can actually see it. Not with naked eyes. The comet is too faint for that. Magnitude places it well below visibility thresholds for unaided human vision. But small telescopes reveal it. Equipment available to amateur astronomers. Instruments you can order online and set up in your backyard. Point them at the right coordinates at the right time. And photons from an object that formed around another star will enter your optics. This is unprecedented opportunity. Previous interstellar visitors either appeared briefly and faded quickly, or passed through when visibility conditions weren't optimal. 3 I Atlas, through combination of orbital geometry and timing, provides extended observation window for those equipped to take advantage. This is when you can see it. Where to look, what equipment works, why the next few weeks matter, and what you're actually observing when you catch that faint, fuzzy patch in your telescope's field of view. Understanding when 3i Atlas becomes visible requires understanding where it is and where Earth is. Orbital mechanics determines visibility. The comet follows its hyperbolic trajectory outward from perihelion. Earth continues its annual path around the Sunday. The angle between them, the distance separating them, and the Sun's position relative to both objects determine when and how the comet can be observed. 3. I Atlas passed perihelion, closest approach to the Sun, in late October 2025. That marked minimum solar distance, maximum heating, peak activity, but also minimum Earth visibility because the comet was nearly in line with the Sun from Earth's perspective. Solar conjunction. Observing was impossible. Too much scattered light. Too close to the sun's glare. Since perihelion 3, I, Atlas, has been moving outward, receding from the sun along its escape trajectory. And orbital geometry has been gradually separating it from the sun's position as viewed from Earth. The angular distance between comet and sun, measured in degrees across the sky, has been increasing. This angular separation is critical for visibility. When an object appears too close to the sun angularly, observing becomes impossible even if the object is intrinsically bright. Scattered sunlight overwhelms faint objects. Telescopes can't point that close to the sun without risking damage or being blinded by scattered light in the atmosphere. As angular separation increases, observation windows open. First, just before sunrise, or just after sunset, when the sun is below horizon, but the target object is above. These twilight windows are brief. The target rises or sets quickly. Observations must be efficient. For 3i Atlas currently, visibility comes in morning twilight. The comet rises above the eastern horizon approximately two hours before sunrise. At that time, the sun is still well below horizon. Sky is dark enough that faint objects remain detectable. But the window is limited. As sunrise approaches, sky brightness increases. Eventually, scattered sunlight drowns the comet's faint glow. This morning, visibility will improve over coming weeks. The comet's position will shift relative to the Sunday angular separation will continue increasing. The pre-dawn observation window will expand. Three, I Atlas will rise earlier. More time will be available before twilight brightness interferes. December 19th, 2025 marks closest approach to Earth. Not closest approach to the sun, that was perihelion in October. Closest approach to our planet specifically. At that time, distance between Earth and 3i Atlas will reach minimum of approximately 
269 million kilometers. This sounds distant, and it is more than one and a half times the distance between Earth and the Sunday. But in astronomical terms, this is relatively close for interstellar objects. Most spend their brief solar system passages at much greater distances. Being within a few hundred million kilometers of Earth provides optimal viewing geometry. After December 19th, three I atlas will begin receding from Earth as both objects continue their separate paths. The comet heads outward toward interstellar space. Earth continues its annual orbit. Distance between them will increase steadily. The comet will gradually fade as distance grows, and as its intrinsic brightness declines from reduced activity far from the Sunday, comment below. Will you attempt to observe 3 I Atlas yourself? So you want to see an interstellar visitor what equipment do you need? What locations work? What techniques maximize your chances of success? First, understand the magnitude. Three, I-Atlas currently sits around magnitude eight to nine, depending on activity levels. Magnitude is logarithmic scale, where smaller numbers mean brighter objects. Naked eye limit under dark skies is about magnitude six. Anything fainter requires optical aid. Magnitude eight to nine places, three eye atlas, well beyond naked eye visibility. You cannot see it without equipment. No amount of straining your eyes or finding darker skies will make it visible unaided. Optical magnification and light gathering capability are essential. Binoculars might reveal it under perfect conditions. Large aperture binoculars, extremely dark skies, Perfect atmospheric transparency. Experienced observers who know exactly where to look. But this is marginal. Binoculars are not the recommended approach for most observers. Telescopes are the reliable option and not massive professional instruments. Small amateur telescopes work fine. Apertures of four inches, 100 millimeters or larger will show 3i atlas clearly. Larger apertures perform better, collecting more light and revealing fainter details. But even modest instruments succeed. Telescope type matters less than aperture. Refractors work. Reflectors work. Compound designs work. The critical factor is gathering enough light that the comet stands out against sky background. At magnitude eight to nine, this requires apertures that most beginner telescopes provide. Mounting is important. The telescope must point accurately and track smoothly. Equatorial mounts that compensate for Earth's rotation are ideal. They keep the target centered during observation. Alt azimuth mounts work but require more frequent adjustment. For photography, tracking is essential. For visual observation, it's helpful but not absolutely required. Location determines success as much as equipment. Light pollution is the enemy of faint object observation. Urban and suburban skies glow with scattered artificial light. This raises the background brightness. Faint objects like 3i Atlas become harder to detect against bright backgrounds. Dark sky locations are strongly recommended. Rural areas away from cities elevated sites above low-lying haze, locations where the sky appears genuinely dark between stars. Light pollution maps available online identify good observing sites. Finding truly dark skies might require driving, but the improvement in visibility is dramatic. Timing is critical. Three, I Atlas rises in the east approximately two hours before sunrise. This timing varies slightly with observer latitude and date. Planning software or websites that calculate rise times for your specific location help. Arriving at your observing site early ensures equipment setup happens in darkness before twilight begins. The observation window is limited. Too early and the comet hasn't risen yet. Too late and twilight brightness overwhelms it.
The sweet spot is typically 90 minutes to 30 minutes before sunrise. During that window, sky is dark enough for detection, but the comet is high enough above horizon for clear viewing. Atmospheric conditions matter. Clear skies are obvious requirement, but transparency matters more than just cloud absence. Haze, humidity, and atmospheric dust scatter light and reduce contrast. Crisp, clear nights with excellent transparency provide best results. Weather forecasting focused on astronomical seeing conditions helps identify optimal nights. Finding 3i Atlas in your telescope's field of view requires accurate coordinates. Star charts showing the comet's position are available from astronomical websites and apps. These provide right ascension and declination, the celestial coordinate system equivalent to longitude and latitude. Entering these coordinates into computerized telescope mounts points the instrument accurately. For manual finding, star hopping works. Starting from bright reference stars visible in finder scopes, observers move in steps toward the comet's position using progressively fainter guide stars. This requires familiarity with the star field and practice, but experienced observers succeed routinely. Once located, 3i Atlas appears as a faint, fuzzy patch, not a pinpoint like a star, a diffuse glow indicating the coma, the cloud of gas and dust surrounding the nucleus. The tail, if visible, extends away from the sun's direction. Orientation changes nightly as viewing geometry evolves. Photography captures what I struggle to see, Long exposures accumulate light. Sensitive cameras detect fainter details than visual observation reveals. Even smartphones attached to telescope eyepieces can record the comet with sufficient exposure time. Dedicated astrophotography cameras and techniques produce stunning results, but basic imaging is accessible to beginners. Subscribe now for detailed guides on exactly where 3i Atlas will be on specific dates, and what to look for. The December 19th closest approach to Earth represents optimal viewing opportunity for several reasons. Distance is minimum. Angular size, while still tiny, is maximum. Brightness, as seen from Earth, reaches its peak for this approach geometry. But closest approach isn't just about brightness. It's about relative motion. As 3i Atlas passes near Earth, its apparent position against background stars changes rapidly. Over hours, the comet noticeably shifts. This motion is detectable in telescopes and obvious in time-lapse photography. Watching this motion connects observers to the reality of orbital mechanics. This isn't a static sky painting. It's dynamic system with objects moving at kilometers per second. Three, iAtlas is traveling at approximately 30 kilometers per second relative to the Sunday Earth, moves at 30 kilometers per second in its orbit. The combination produces relative motion visible in real time during close approach. Photographers capturing images hours apart can create sequences showing this motion. The comet moves against stars. Time-lapse videos spanning nights show dramatic position changes. This visual demonstration of orbital motion is educational and visceral in ways that diagrams never achieve. December 19th also offers symbolic significance. This is humanity's best chance to observe this particular interstellar visitor. After this approach, 3i Atlas continues outward. It will never return, never pass through the inner solar system again. This is one opportunity for direct observation of this specific messenger from another stellar system. The broader context matters too. Only three interstellar objects have been confirmed. One, I Oumuamua. Two, I Borisov. Three, I Atlas. Each offered limited observation windows. Each presented unique challenges. 3i Atlas 
with its extended visibility and favorable geometry, provides unprecedented access for amateur observation, future interstellar visitors will come. Statistical models suggest dozens per year pass through, though most remain undetected. Detection technology improves. Future opportunities will exist. But this opportunity is now. This visitor is here. The window is open for those prepared to look. When you observe 3i Atlas, what exactly are you seeing? Not the nucleus directly. It's far too small at 269 million kilometers. Even kilometer size objects subtend angles too tiny for amateur telescopes to resolve. What you observe is the coma, the cloud of gas and dust released by the nucleus as solar radiation drives sublimation. This coma contains material that formed around another star, ice that condensed from stellar nebulae in a planetary system different from ours, dust particles that aggregated in protoplanetary disk where temperatures and chemistry were unlike our sun's disk. Molecules that carry isotopic signatures of different nucleosynthesis. You're seeing matter from another world, not another planet, another stellar system entirely. Material that traveled millions of years across interstellar space. That survived radiation bombardment and cosmic ray exposure that entered our solar system on a one-way trajectory that brought it briefly near Earth. The photons entering your telescope traveled from the comet, carrying information about the material, releasing them. Reflected sunlight reveals dust properties. Fluorescence shows molecular composition. The faint glow is physical data encoded in light. Amateur observations contribute to scientific understanding when reported to international databases. 3i Atlas is visible now for those equipped and motivated to observe morning skies in the east, two hours before sunrise, through telescopes four inches or larger under dark skies, a faint fuzzy patch that represents chemistry from another stellar system. December 19th marks closest approach. Optimal visibility, maximum brightness as seen from Earth. The peak opportunity to observe this interstellar visitor before it fades. This is rare experience. Most people will never observe interstellar objects visually. Most won't have opportunity or equipment or awareness that such objects are even accessible. But for those who prepare, who travel to dark sites with appropriate instruments, who rise before dawn and point telescopes towards specific coordinates, Direct observation is achievable. You won't see magnificent comet with dramatic tail stretching across the sky. 3i Atlas is subtle, faint, requires effort and planning. But what you observe is authentic. Photons from another stellar system entering your optics. Material from environments different from anything local. A visitor from beyond delivering messages about galactic chemistry. The observation window extends through December and into early 2026, but brightness declines as the comet recedes. December 19th represents the peak, the best chance, the moment when geometry and distance optimize visibility. Mark your calendars, plan your observations, gather equipment, find dark skies and join the small community of observers worldwide who will witness this interstellar visitor directly during its brief passage through our neighborhood. Comment below, what equipment will you use to observe 3i Atlas? Subscribe for updates on exactly where to look and what to expect as December 19th approaches. Guides showing specific star fields, tips, for successful observation. Reports from observers worldwide sharing their experiences, capturing photons from another stellar system. Three, IATLAS is here, visible, accessible. This is your opportunity to see an interstellar visitor with your own eyes, aided by optics, 
but your eyes nonetheless. Don't let it pass unobserved.